Hey guys, so today we are going to be decluttering my lip glosses. Yes, and I really thought we'd be able to kind of go through my entire lip collection, including lip glosses, but no, it's too much. I just can't talk for that long. <laughs> it would literally take me like over two hours to kind of go through everything, especially my lipsticks, because I want to swatch them and make sure that they're bad or, or good. Uh, so I'm going to show you like my lip drawers so you can see what is ahead because I will be getting to my lipsticks. But today we are going to be decluttering my lip glosses of which I have plenty. So this is going to be a long enough video. Let me go ahead and turn you around so you can take a look at what we're dealing with. All right. So we are dealing with this um, Alex 5 drawer and the top drawer is not lip products, but the other four are. So we have... This used to just be my overflow drawer. As you can see now, my overflow drawer is <laughs> way too full and it's, it's really just become kind of like the lipsticks that don't fit into the organizer that I have or they're kind of oddly shaped or, or really they just don't fit down there. So that is one drawer. The next drawer I have, which is a completely inefficient use of space, but this is my Pat McGrath drawer, I guess you could say, all of my glosses that I have of hers, and all of the Bullet lip products. Here is my drawer of Bullet lipsticks. I think you guys have probably seen this one the most during my like Shop My Stash videos. So this one should look familiar to you. It just makes me nuts when the lipstick starts to pile up like that. I, I just, you can't find anything that way. And then this is my lip gloss drawer, which is the biggest disaster, as you can see. Let me take all of this out and yeah, go from there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just take these out by, by sections, I guess, and then we'll just put it right out here on the floor and kind of go through it. Um, this is just the first grouping, and it's so funny. It looks like they explode. This was only like this front half of the organizer. We still have all of that. Wow, I'm scared. Okay, let's start with Tom Ford. So these are the newer um, lip glosses. These are the Gloss Lux lip glosses. Um, I love all of these, so I'll probably keep all of these because these are the newest. The ones I have to go through are these, the Lip Lacquers. Some other random ones. The Lacquer Luxes. And then these old lip glosses that they discontinued. Okay, sorry, I had to, <laughs> I actually had to format my card. So if this looks like it's in a different position, that's why I had to move my camera. Anyway, um, so I was just looking up whether oh, my hair's everywhere. I'm sorry. I had to look up like what was actually still available uh, from Tom Ford because that'll help me kind of decide. So these are brand new. So these are all still available and these are available, but these are all like this one is on final sale. So they're just continuing it. However, I really love this. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this and I know it's good because I actually just put it on, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, these glosses Oh my god, this one is one of my absolute favorite glosses of all time. It is Pink Gilt, um, but I think I'm just going to get rid of these. They're they're really, really old. I don't use these quite as much as I use this one, but you can even see like the color looks kind of crazy. So we're going to toss those. And these, we're going to toss also. The only one I'm not going to toss is Copper Chic because I love this one so much. Like I wear it not just for my channel or whatever. Um, but I love that one. So I'm going to keep that, but I'm just going to toss these. Yeah, I'm just going to toss these. This is very difficult for me, but I'm going to put my big girl panties on and just, just do the hard thing. All right. So those are my Tom Ford, oh, more of my hair. So those are my Tom Ford glosses. I'm really going to try and make this like just quick and brutal. My Tower 28, these are relatively new. I, I really enjoy these. I see the other one. Um, so I'm going to keep those. Oh, here's the other one. Okay, so I'm keeping those. My um, 
smoky glow might do you see they're like kind of leaking so I'm actually going to just kind of get rid of these so I'm gonna to toss those out um, as well I feel like there's one more and I can't, can't find it oh here yeah this one's leaking also so I'm gonna get rid of those I'm sorry Hannah I love you and I love these glosses but I, there's some, something happened <laughs> something happened to mine the Scott Barnes I just purchased these so I'm gonna hold on to these let's see these Charlotte Tilbury ones so these are the collagen lip baths these are fairly new I'm gonna hold on to them they're not my favorite because they are very pepperminty wait am I remembering that correctly hold on let me see yeah they're very pepperminty so it, they're not my favorite but I feel like if I need them for like full Charlotte Tilbury face um, these come in handy so I'm gonna keep those this is a very old gloss which I think has been discontinued so I'm going to toss this out I am going to toss out the Dominique Cosmetics I don't actually like this or the formula it just it wore away like way too quickly way too quickly and I love glosses they're not long-lasting I get it but they wore away way too quickly and like this color like barely showed up at all not my favorite so I'm gonna go ahead and um, toss that oh here's another Scott Barnes the Viseart lip shines are relatively new and I really really love these so I'm going to hold on to these I'm also gonna hold on to the Wayne Gosses um, these NARS ones I never use and they're really really old this one is instant crash and this one is Vita Loca I've had these forever so I'm gonna toss those uh, the Fenty I'm keeping for sure oh the M cosmetics I do like this I really like this uh, formula am I gonna wear this color though let me see this is that faded Clementine I mean I do love an orange lip okay I'll hold on to this these are the oh the name of this isn't on here anywhere I think these are true gloss I think that's the name of this product and I really like the formula so I'm gonna hold on to that um, I have some more NARS this is new the orgasm X and I haven't really tried it yet I've, I've swatched it but that's it so I'm gonna hold on to that I love these love these these are probably a couple years old let me see if they're still good yeah that one is still good so I'm gonna hold on to that Yeah, that one is still good. So I'm gonna hold on to these NARS. This is the full vinyl lip lacquer. This is in Everglades, this black color. And then this one is in At First Sight. This Dior gloss I just got and just tried in my full face of Dior makeup and I really like it. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Definitely holding on to my Hourglass lip glosses and definitely holding on to my Chanel <laughs> lip glosses all of these because I love them and also all of these like liquid lipsticks that they have oh yeah I have a whole bunch so I'm definitely holding on to all of my Chanel because yes <laughs> because yes that's why my Chanel Chanel uh, Chantecaille definitely Glossier I think I really like these I just never use them you know what I have a friend actually that I think really likes the original this clear one I'll see if she wants these two okay I think uh, trying to figure out what to do with the ones that I want to keep because uh, I need to open up this drawer again to get to the other so I think I'm just gonna put all of these in a box I have this drawer box sitting here so let me just take this ribbon off Okay, so that's what I'm keeping. These are the ones I am tossing or giving away. Oh, I already see this Domini Cosmetics, the other one, so I'm gonna toss that. Right. Here is the next batch. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to make some hard decisions here um okay ones I know I'm keeping the hourglass definitely keeping this I think these Rodin lip oils are separating 
which is such a shame. I love these. These are such a comfortable formula, but like they don't like recombine very easily. Yeah, like even if I just sh like if I shake them up, they're still separated. Can you see that? I am going to think about these because I really love this formula. I love the way all of these shades look and I know they're not bad. They're just like they're just separated. Okay, this Guerlain one I really enjoy, but I never ever use. So I'm going to declutter this. I think it's time to declutter my JLo Inglot as much as I love these. These are these are pretty old, so I'm going to declutter those. I'm going to declutter my Dose of Colors uh, Brio. This is the one I think that was the collab with... I think this was the collab with I Love Sarah E. This is not the um, Desi and Katie one. So I'm going to declutter that. I am going to... I'm going to declutter Tender Rose. This is not a color I wear often. And this is uh, an M Cosmetics True Gloss. Here's another dose of colors over the top. I think this was the collab with uh, Desi and Katie, and I love this, but this is old, so I'm going to toss that. I'm gonna toss this M Cosmetics. It's a liquid lipstick, which I never, never, never wear. So I'm gonna toss that. These other M Cosmetics glosses, I'm gonna keep this clear one, since I'm gonna pass along the Glossier. I really enjoy this one, so I'm gonna keep this. And... This one is Magic Hour, and this one is Mochi Mochi. I love these two colors, so I'm gonna hold on to those. Oh, I see another Hourglass I'm gonna hold on to for sure. Oh my God, this I have kept just out of nostalgia. This is the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder gloss. This is way too old, I'm gonna to toss this. Okay, sorry, I had to move my camera again because the camera just like tipped over. So anyway, if the angle is different, sorry about that. All right, uh, I'm definitely keeping all of the new Sisley. Uh, the Fito glosses. I see them all here. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to get rid of this Kogan Doe gloss. I just never use it. I'm going to get rid of this Ofer gloss. I never use it. Oh, these I think have gone bad. I just used one in my Get Ready With Me. <laughs> now I can't remember which one it is. Let me see. They're probably both bad. That smells kind of funky. This is n this is not the one I used in my Shop My Stash. I think this one is. Yeah, they just, I don't know, it's almost like, I'm trying to describe the smell. It just, it just doesn't smell right. I don't know how else to describe it because with lip gloss, it doesn't necessarily smell like clay, the way like a bullet lipstick will smell. They just smell off. So I'm going to toss those. I am going to keep all of my Surratt glosses because they're some of my favorites. I have, oh, there's more. I have quite a few. I'm going to smell the oldest one, which is this Eau Naturelle and this Nudité. These two are probably the first two that I ever got. So these, oops, these I'm definitely keeping. These I need to check. Yeah, nothing. So I'm going to keep these. They're still good. I am going to toss this Bite Beauty one. This is the French Press Lip Gloss and Dirty Chai. I love these, but these are discontinued. They smell like coffee. They're they're really nice, but they're discontinued. So I'm just going to let it go. Um, these are relatively new. This came out with the like Laguna Bronze Collection for NARS. So I'm gonna hold on to these. I am going to get rid of this Wander Lip Retreat Oil. This was actually very nice, but I just, I never use it. I even forgot I had these YSL lip products. Let me just see if these are still good. This one smells okay, but I actually don't like this color at all. I think I got this as like a Nordstrom set. So I'm gonna pass that along. Um, and then I have these two glosses. Ooh, that one's pretty. Oh, it smells really funky. It almost smells like gasoline. So that one is going into the garbage. Yeah, same with this one. Okay, so this is garbage. I actually have to seg out my bad ones from the ones I'm going to pass along. These prismatic lips from Surratt I love. I'm gonna hold on to these. These lip slicks from Surratt I love. I'm gonna hold on to these. And then these La Baton Rouges, these are really, really nice, but I never use them. They're a lip with like a little bit of like a matte kind of situation going on, and they're very pretty, but 
Maybe I'll keep one. I think there was one that I liked the most. Was it this Cointrell one? I think so. Yeah, that was, I think, the most nude. And then the others were very dramatic. Let's see. Like this one, which is diabolic. Ooh. Ooh, I like that, though. Okay, maybe I'll keep that one, too. Maybe I'm keeping all of these. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. This one is bon. I can get rid of that one. These are kind of old, too. And Margot. Margot is like purpley plum. I can get rid of that one. I don't wear that color very often. And then Elysian. which is like a really dark purple. Now I think these two colors are the most me, so I will toss those three out and then keep these two. My Fenty glosses I love. I'm gonna hold on to those. I'm gonna hold on to the Decorte that I love. This I ordered and haven't used very much. This is from like a Japanese company, UZ, so I have to play with that. This is another dose of colors the most. I think these are just too old, so I'm gonna toss that. Um, this crayon from Chanel I love, so I'm going to hold on to that. Clarins um, Instant Lip Comfort Oil. I just got this through Octoly, so I'm going to hold on to this. And then these Dear Dahlia glosses are really a lot of fun, and I have not gotten a chance to use them, so I'm going to hold on to those. All right, hmm. making some good progress. Let's finish this off. I know I can get rid of this uh, Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. Really enjoy it, never use it. So I'm actually gonna pass this one along because it's fairly new and it is very nice. I love, love, love these Lip Maestros, so I'm definitely holding on to those. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. This is one of those freeze ones. I just, I don't know, I didn't really like the color and I don't really like the colors of these. This was part of like, I think another one of those Nordstrom sets. So I'm gonna toss those. This I'm definitely decluttering. This is the Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tint. It's just, it's a it's a very odd kind of like formula and I don't like the taste of it. So I'm definitely going to toss that. And Patrick Ta, oh, I'm gonna get rid of this um, lip product from Glossier Play. It wasn't bad, I just, you know, I, it's never something I reach for. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss that. Well, I feel like everything else I really enjoy. Okay, so these products are still around. I forgot, I had older Clay de Peau lip products and I already decluttered them. So I'm gonna hold on to these. I'm also gonna hold on to these Clay de Peau lip glosses that I love. This one is like one of my all time favorites. So holding on to that. Uh, definitely holding on to this YSL Tatouage Couture Matte in number 23, mainly because my name is engraved in there. So I'm going to hold on to that. I really don't think there's much else I want to declutter from this pile. I really like these Persona glosses. I don't use them enough, but I, you know, I really want to try and get into them. Oh, maybe I can get rid of these. These are the Il Maquillage Super Sheer Lip Colors. I really love these. I just, I just never, ever use them ever. So I'm going to get rid of those. They're kind of old too. This M Cosmetics is uh, really nice. This came out with the Magic Hour collection. Um, and I love, love, love these Guerlain lip products. They were like this sheer lip products, but I think they're all discontinued, which just kind of breaks my heart. But maybe I can get rid of some of these. I'll get rid of this one. I don't feel like I'll wear this color as much as the others. Yeah, they still smell okay. They have a really strong kind of like candy uh, scent to them. This is like an iridescent lip topper. That one's a lot of fun. That one's a lot of fun too. Just don't know how much I'm gonna use these. This one I can get rid of. I don't think I'll wear this hot pink too much. And then this nude. I love that nude. Okay, I'll just hold on to these three. We'll see what happens. We can always declutter more in the near future, which will probably happen. This Dear Dahlia, this one actually I can declutter. This is like 
a, a color I would never wear. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like kind of like a mid-tone red. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And oh, another Armani Lip Maestro that I really, really enjoy. I think I did okay. All right, so these are all the ones that I'm keeping, <laughs> just quite a bit. And these are the ones I am getting rid of. I'm definitely throwing those out. I am definitely gonna try and find new homes for these. I can't donate any lip products. No one will take used lip products for good reason. Um, and then these, I just kind of have to sift through and see like, like what isn't so old that I can pass along and see if I can find new homes for. Um, but they all have been used. So it's also really kind of weird. It has to be like a very close friend or family member. Um, so yeah, that's the situation. I think I'm actually going to uh, get rid of this. This is one of those like lip cheek products and I don't actually like it for my lips or my cheeks. It's like doesn't work well for either in my opinion. So I am going to, I'm trying to think, I only tried this a couple of times and it's not that old so I'm actually going to try and find a new home for that one. And I have some doubles of glosses so I'm going to give the doubles that I have to my mother. I'm trying to arrange all of my Chanel by color, by tone at least. So I'm putting like the more nude ones over here. These two are the same. Interesting. Okay. These two are the same. That goes to mom. All right, wow, doesn't that look so much better? I had my um, lip products like upside down so I could see the colors, um, but I don't know, I'm just kind of paranoid that they're gonna leak out. And I always had to lift them up anyway and look because the wording is always so, so small. <laughs> so, you know, with ones that are like, these are actual lipsticks, so I feel comfortable leaving those upside down, it's okay. Um, but like my other glosses or whatever, I'm just gonna leave like right side up and I'll just have to take take them out to see what color they are. Um, but I rearranged them a little bit. I mean, the Chanel's I always have up front because I probably reach for these the most in terms of gloss, but I was reaching for the Wayne gloss a lot. So I thought, let me put those in the back, <laughs> give those a rest a little bit, give some other ones a chance. Um, so yeah, wow, I am so, wow, so happy with that. All right, so these are all the lipsticks I am going to try and <laughs> give to friends. I'm gonna give my Chanel ones to my mom. And then these are all the ones that I am going to be throwing out, unfortunately, but they're too old. They're either bad like these, or they're just too old, or I've actually used them a lot like these Tom Ford ones, and I just, you know, they're lip products. That's gross. So I am just gonna be tossing these. Well, that is great. I'm feeling really good so far about that lip gloss drawer. Oh, I forgot about these Rodin ones. So let me see. I'm wondering if I can like take the wand and just kind of mix them up. If you can see like that's how separated they are. And I get that they're gonna separate because they're lip oils, but the fact that I can't just like shake them up kind of like back to <laughs> back to regular consistency is just kind of annoying. This one actually kind of tastes and smells funny. So I think I'm gonna throw that out, unfortunately. Look how cute. Aww. I wonder if I should just hold on to them just for the dog. Maybe I'll just hold on to this one because this one looks the closest to fuzzy butters with those pointy ears. And then I'm gonna hold on to this one, which is actually older than these dog ones, but this one doesn't seem to have separated. 
quite as badly and this is probably my favorite color so I'm gonna hold on to that and then I think I'm just going to get rid of these because this one definitely tasted and smells bad so I'm gonna to toss these out all right wow God. I'm hot from that <laughs> it's a lot of lip glosses um, and sitting on the floor is not the most comfortable. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this declutter. You guys, I feel really, really good with how that drawer looks. I mean, I obviously, I have a lot of lip products, um, but I got rid of quite a bit and I feel like that drawer now, like I, I know what I have. I can see what I have and it feels manageable again. So definitely stay tuned for more declutters because I'm gonna hit those lipsticks next. So thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye!